Hey guys, welcome back to the weekly series where we look at all the strikes and call options for all the yield max funds. Make sure to drop a like. Let's try and get 65 likes on this one. Beat our last one. And uh, yeah, I love making these videos, but they take a lot of time. So I appreciate the likes and the support. So anyways, let's get into it. So to start off, we'll look at this. Uh, YMAX outperformed QQQ, which I think is our main competitor here. Because, you know, SPY, they hold more like oil and uh, just non-tech versus YMAX owns a lot of tech. So they're also declaring their dividend next week. If you haven't watched my video on that, I predicted it. However, there is a problem with that. You'll find out in that video. I don't want to talk about it too much because we're looking at the calls here. We got to stay focused. Don't want to make the video too long. Last one was 28 minutes, so I, I, I do want to aim to make these videos like 20 minutes long and jam-pack it with a bunch of information. So if you, you guys can pause anytime you want or replay it, but I just I don't want to take up too much time here. So yeah, we QQQ went down 1.5%, which is really bad. Uh, main, main factors of that is Apple and Tesla, they did not have good weeks, so... We'll look at that. We'll go into that. But 12 out of 19 of these ETFs actually outperform their underlying. Yes, we got paid on all of them, but I managed to include that calculation into the outperformance. So 12 out of 19, better than last week when we had the ultra green week. 7 out of 19 outperformed last week, but this week was 12 out of 19. So let's start. I'm going to start with my favorite one. My favorite ETF of the yield max funds, Misty. So they're at $34 now, which is ridiculous. They went up 30% just this week. MicroStrategy went up 32%. So we did follow very closely. Uh, you know, it was a good call last week because uh, they put the strikes a lot further out, which that paid off for us. MicroStrategy did have some news this week they want to issue more debt to buy more bitcoin so this company is eventually you know at these stock levels they have a lot of leverage they can easily buy more bitcoin and through selling shares or offering debt so they're gonna they're gonna have 210k 200k bitcoin really soon i should also include the bitcoin price i feel like that's pretty important to have i might do that next week gotta remind me so yeah, they went up 32%, did not outperform. Their strikes are at 1620, only 13% out of the money. So that uh that could come up and bite us. I I would prefer obviously 40% again, but if Bitcoin does go down over the weekend, we'll be looking very very uh we'll be very happy if it doesn't go up too much cuz last weekend Bitcoin spiked and that's why MicroStrategy went crazy this week. So hopefully it doesn't go up too much. If it goes up 10%, we're good. And we collected 3% in premium there. So pretty good. Synthetics, uh, they they still have the 950, I think March 28th. Uh, yeah. Dividend or premium buildup is insane for this one right now. Buck 95. So next dividend could be already a dollar ninety five, and we still got like three, three and a half weeks left in March. Could be record breaking dividend for Misty. Love this one. Should have bought more. Only got twenty four shares, but they almost doubled already. So can't complain there. All right, I'm gonna go back up. I just I, I love covering that one. So let's start off with Apple. Apple here. So yeah, they went down 5.96%. However, this is the yield max one, and that is from the dividend. So they went down a little bit more. Uh, Apple itself went down 4.97%. So even even though they paid a, a decent dividend, they uh, they didn't go down hard, as, as hard as I would have thought. Uh, in my calculation, they did outperform. So that's kind of why uh, they didn't drop significantly. So their calls are at 172.5. Um or 1.04% out of the money. 
So obviously the fund managers here, they're predicting Apple's going to drop even more this week, which is possible, I guess. Apple's been kind of rocky. Okay, so they collected 0.81% in premium just because it's that close to being in the money. So if it drops, I guess, you know, we kind of have that 0.81% safety net. Don't want it to drop more than that. Synthetic, they're going to have to change that this week. And unfortunately, since Apple's at 170, we're like $20 negative in that one. So premium build up overall right now, we're looking at 22 cents. So not bad. I'm Next week, I got to add the, the yield, annual, annualized yield. But yeah, 22 cents right now. If they pay out their full call um, premiums. So I, I might have to change the calculation, but I do like the this for the estimate because usually they do pay out like most of their premium in dividends. Okay, let's look at Coney. Coney, they're at 27.29. They're rising up again, going back to 30. They went up 10% despite even paying that huge dividend. I think that dividend was like 74%. So, Coin, Coin they're at 256 now. They went up 25%. But the reason because of that big difference is because of that big dividend. So if we look at last week, yeah, their call average was 240, so they did end up getting capped. We could have got an extra 60, like we missed that $16 gain there, but, uh, you know, that's fine. They put the calls out uh, pretty far out of the money there, and uh, Bitcoin jumped a lot this week. So they could have done what MicroStrategy did, but, you know, you know, it's different. It's different. So their new strike is 295 with their call being almost 15% out of the money. And uh, premium collected is 1.77%. However, if we look at this, this is the Coney Holdings. I noticed they didn't use all their contracts that they can sell or they didn't update it yet. So they still have about uh, 15,760 contracts that they can still sell. So this premium collected here can easily be three percent uh or the up the website is being buggy or something but i'm pretty sure they only sold around half the contracts that they can which is kind of smart because they can see what bitcoin does over the weekend and then they can decide okay do we want to put the strike you know a little lower uh maybe higher because bitcoin maybe spikes over the weekend so you know that is a, a different strategy you know so now we got the 250 synthetic at April 19th. Uh, and I think they also got a 200 one. But I didn't include that one because I don't know if it's a it's a bug or not. But yeah. Dividend buildup is 74 cents if they pay all their call premium out. Tesla. Tesla is at 15.91. Uh, yeah, this is getting kind of bad. They went down 16%, but that is because, again, they paid the dividend. Tesla, though, is still going down too much for my liking, and this could be a great buy-the-dip opportunity right here. You know, Tesla, they're, they're a leader in EV manufacturing. Like, all these other companies like Ford, GM, they can't make EVs as efficiently as Tesla does. And I know if you guys follow Elon on X, he's talking a lot about the robots now. And if they get those robots going up, oh, that's going to push their margins way up. And plus, they still haven't released their cheaper, I think it's Model 2 car. Once they get that out and, you know, Cybertruck sales keep rising, you know, there is a lot of catalysts. And I think this could start looking really attractive to buy, whether you're buying the you know, this could be a smart strategy. You you, you buy a bunch of Tesla, but then with your dividends, you buy the dip on Tesla. That could be a good strategy. I might want to do that. I wish I owe more Tesla, but uh, it's kind of sad what's going on. I, I feel like this is not deserved right here. 13% down. Tesla did outperform, which, you know, that's great. 
love it. Uh, their strike is at 183.3. Uh, the, the strike is just one strike. It's weird because Tesla did a, a split quite a while back and kind of messed with some of the strike prices. So that's why it's kind of a, a weird number like that, 183.3. So we are 4.54% out of the money and we collected 1.3% in premium there. So pretty good. This is a... Yeah, we're we're get, we're definitely gonna lose a lot of money on the synthetic, but that's okay, because it's already calculated in the share price. But yeah, synthetics are looking uh, negative right now, one eighty five and two twenty. I thought they were definitely gonna make money on the one eighty five one. I don't know what happened there. So, dividend build up is fifty four cents. One thing I I do want to start covering though is daily, but. I don't have, an, have enough time to make daily videos because I know that they definitely were selling calls throughout the week on Tesla or Tesla. So it would be nice if I could get that data daily instead of just getting the data at big chunks at the end of the week. So I might start switching to daily once these videos, I don't know maybe a hundred likes and I'll start doing dailies. It's just, it, it takes a lot of time, but I'm sure it'd be fun and it make this number way more accurate. I'm sure. But even if the fund grows too, I'm sure like the average premium they're targeting is still around 1.3%. So yes. Now we got Phoebe. Oh, my favorite one. I've been loving this one. Just got paid that dividend today. Ooh, I'm going to make a video on how much dividends I'm receiving once that YMAX dividend comes out. But yeah, that was my biggest dividend ever from Phoebe today. So they're at 23.25, going down 4%, but Meta went up 0.73%, and they're at 505.95, and in the week off. So yeah, Phoebe did slightly outperform, barely, barely and their new calls are at 520. Some news about Meta is, I don't know if you guys heard, but TikTok is getting banned in the United States, or I know they tried doing it under Trump. I don't know if it's gonna fully go through, but they basically gave them six months to sell off their United States business. So TikTok has to find a buyer for their TikTok business in the United States. Now, maybe it, it'll be Microsoft again, maybe it'll be Oracle, or maybe it'll be Meta. But, you know, Meta already has the reels, so you know what? Just let TikTok die. No one likes TikTok. Uh, yeah, so they're 2.78% out of the money. Uh, they collected 0.64% in premium, which is what we've been seeing throughout the last couple weeks. Uh, they usually target 0 0.6 to 0 0.7. So it looks like the 520 target was what got them to this number. New synthetic was open also today. 505 in two months. Dividend buildup is 38 cents for Phoebe, which is good. We should be, if it keeps on going on this pace, we should be at like 85, 90 cents. Very, very good. Next up is Amzi. They're at 22.5. Uh, Amazon is 175, going down a little bit this week at 1.61%. However, Amzi outperformed Amazon. Very good. Their calls are at 177.5 and 180, and majority of them are at 180. So that's the average rate there. Call average, 2% out of the money. 0.65% in premium. They're being meta this week. And they're synthetic. I don't know if that was recently opened. Uh, I could check, but yeah. 175 at May 17th. Dividend build up, 28 cents. AMD. AMD, they're $23, only going down 2.62% after that huge dividend they paid out. Wow. They were one of the top three biggest dividend payers, I'm pretty sure. Like, they were in the headline of that 
of that email I received from them. And AMD did go up 2.34%. It's just these these semiconductors just keep on going up. Like even the the China one or the Taiwan one, I think that one's going to do really good. That's probably the best value one right, right now. But I'd really like how the market cap on AMD is still fairly low and it has so much potential. So they, yeah, they did outperform and their new strikes are at 225. And I always like when this number's high. We're, we're getting a lot of no, low numbers here for out of the money, but uh, when you see 8.49% for AMD, you know, that's that's good. It, it, it leaves room for capital appreciation. And still collecting a nice chunk of premium. This this ETF is is on fire, and it, it might be in my top five of favorite yield max ETFs. So their their synthetic is two hundred at May seventeenth, and their dividend buildup is forty three cents. So good job there, good job AMD. Uh, at twenty three dollars too, AI, AI paid a massive dividend. And they had a, a massive bad day in their underlying. So in my opinion, the underlying C3 AI is very overrated, like or overvalued because they're making like 300 million in revenue and their market cap is like three to 4 billion. It hovers in that range. So they're, they're trading at like 10 times sales, which is, you know, crazy. But AI is like, the hot topic in in the stock market right now this is it used to be evs and uh crypto even even now you don't hear mainstream news talking about crypto that much but ai is definitely what's kind of running the market now so i guess they kind of had a little correction so however c3 ai or a ai yy outperformed the underlying c3 ai so they're at 31.7 Calls are set up at $33 or 4% out of the money. This could be a little too low because, you know, once it dives like this, usually there's a rebound up or so you hope. So 4% out of the money is a little bit too low for my liking. Uh, they did collect tons of premium though. Tons, 2.44%. So if... Best case scenario, the stock flatlines or goes up 2% and they'll look like geniuses for selling that low. But that's that's good premium. Uh, synthetic is at $35 expiring April 19th and dividend buildup is already 99 cents. So that's what you get when you're selling that close to, to being in the money with that high of volatility. It's kind of what Alti is doing right now. You uh built you get so much call income, but you can get burnt so easily. Like, if AI goes to thirty five, we're writing big checks to the people that bought those calls, because they don't, they never let the calls get assigned. They always buy them back. So, you know it's risky. Uh, Navidi, the king, King Navidi. Uh, they're at 27.6. That dividend made them fall below the the magic 30 mark. So now only Misty has it. So yeah, that's that's kind of why NVIDIA, you know, they had a big green day, but I'm pretty sure NVIDIA paid a 100% plus dividend. So yeah, that's kind of why. But they also did get capped. So NVIDIA is at 875, uh, I believe. Yeah, so that was their strikes last week, eight fifty. So they got capped pretty pretty good there. So they underperformed obviously because of that. And guys, another way to look at this outperformance is just if there's a check, that means their call strategy like did good. If there's an X, we we got capped. Okay, so we got capped. Hopefully they put the strikes. Yeah, they put the strikes way further out of the money this time. Seems like that's what they do. When this happens, it happened with Misty. They were putting the calls way too close, and then once they get burnt out badly, they're like, okay, like they kind of get skittish. They're like, all right, we gotta, we we can't do this anymore. Like they kind of follow the the momentum, which is, you know, it it's good. 
So that's 15% from being in the money. So we have 15% room to run. That's that's a good 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 amount of room I'd say. Yet we're still collecting a percent in premium. I'm not sure if there's any Nvidia news. Uh I don't know if anyone can tell me, but it sounds like oh yeah, there might be that event for Nvidia or something next week. I'm not totally sure, but that might be why we can get so outside of the money but still get a really good premium. There's their new synthetic is at nine fifteen or May seventeenth. Dividend buildup is fifty nine cents. Doesn't look like they'll be the top one. It looks like Tesla is doing really good. Or is that yeah, that's coin. And it looks like AI is doing really good. Netflix or Netflix, they're at eighteen point one. Netflix also went down this week at uh they're at 604.82, so they went down like 2.34%. However, Netflix did outperform, which is awesome. Their new calls are set up at 630, so about $25 away or 4% away there, collecting about 0.55% in premium. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Now we got uh, th that synthetic is at 610. It's not expiring soon. And their dividend buildup is looking quite low. 23 cents. I don't know. In my last prediction, I I understated Netflix by a lot. So maybe I'm collecting this data wrong on Netflix, but I don't know. They're always much higher than I expected. I don't know why. Next up, we got GUI. Yeah, so Google went down this week again. They just keep going down slowly, slowly, slowly. And GUI didn't pay that big of a dividend, so they're not that far off from going down. Uh, but yeah, they had a good week. You know, they outperformed. So maybe, maybe this is the rise of GUI, and we don't know it. And we keep bashing them, but... You know, maybe we can't sleep on them anymore. Their new strikes are set up at 141 or 3.46% out of the money. Uh, they collected 0.52% in premium, which is really good. And their their uh, synthetic expires this week. Looks like that's going to be a loss. So when you guys see this, this is a good point to make here is when they're losing money on that synthetic that's when they can start classifying your dividends as return of capital. So if you're invested in GUI and you're receiving dividends in a registered or non-registered account, uh, you might see some tax advantages or they might go easy on you because it's return of capital and usually those aren't taxed. And tax season is coming up. I don't know. Did you guys do your taxes yet? I still got to do mine. Their dividend buildup is fifteen cents. Okay, and then we got Zomo. They're at seventeen fifty, down a percent for the week because of the small dividend. But Exxon went up two point four percent, so that must mean oil is going up. They're at one hundred eight point three eight, and they did make a new trade this week. They uh the new strike is at one ten, still fairly close, one point five percent away collecting half a percent in premium looks like their synthetic isn't expiring this week so that's good they're prepared and their dividend buildup is nine cents because they did not trade last week next up is jpmo the big bank this one is you know i like to call it a boomer stock and yes it is a boomer stock but it's a good yield max fund too. Uh, they went up 1.58% JP Morgan and their new strikes are at 190 and 192.5. Most of them are at 192.5, but that's the average right there. However, JP did not, JPMO did not outperform JPM. So that is very strange because usually they do. And I just finished praising them. So, looks like you suck again, JPMO. 
Uh, they are two percent from being in the money, which is good. I don't know if it's their earnings or anything. I'm not sure. Uh, they collected about 0.45 percent in premium. Not bad. Synthetic is good, and 18 cents for the dividend buildup. It appears like Zomo and and JP are very similar. Very similar. Uh, they must have similar IV or, yeah, volatility. Next up is SQY or Block. They uh, they went down, or they went up, yeah, they went up 1.88%, but Yieldmax was not prepared for that, so they underperformed. I'm hoping the new strikes are at 84, and yeah. So when I was researching this one, I was kind of shocked how low they were. They have some at 81, some at 82, which is incredibly risky. And I don't agree with it at all because they are kind of tied to Bitcoin. They make a lot of Bitcoin revenue. And I don't know if a lot of people realize that or not. But if Bitcoin goes up, this thing is going easily 85 this week. Uh, yeah. So th it looks like they collected 1% in premium not worth it i the volatility must be dying on this one i remember i wanted to kind of wheel this one when it is in the 40s like uh like continually trade options on it but yeah you would think the volatility would be high on it but it's really not once things settle down goes down quite a bit their dividend build up is 49 cents oh next week or next one Next week, I'm getting tired. Uh, PP1775, PayPal. I really want this one to go up. I think PayPal is a great value play. They're trading super cheap. However, they are going through a transitional year. So I believe this stock is going to be pretty flat for a while. So they're going to have to be trading these options pretty close to being in the money. Uh their volatility just isn't going to be there because their CEO after the last earnings call straight up came out and said there's going to be like no EPS growth this year, which, you know, I think there will be, but he's sandbagging expectations in my opinion. So yeah, it looks like they're keeping the strikes closer, but uh, yeah, PPO performed PayPal. Good job. Their strikes are at 61 and 62 majority are at 61 or 3.66% out of the money. Collecting 0.78% in premium. They're going to lose on that synthetic this week. Uh, looks like it, at least. Which, you can note again, some of these distributions now might be return of capital. Dividend buildup is $0.29. Cents. Yeah, that's... When I was looking at my tax forms for Phoebe, they had like no return of capital because Meta just keeps going up. But uh, I know Tesla, that that slip had a is pretty much all return of capital. Uh, where were we? Dizzo, Dizzo is at twenty one oh nine, and Disney. It looks like they're trending. They're kind of stuck in the one oh eight to one twelve range, but uh, yeah, Dizzo outperformed. Sweet. New strikes are set up at 113 or 2.43% out of the money, collecting about half a percent in premium. So yeah, you know, Disney's volatility took a nosedive kind of after earnings. And dang, you know, I wish I bought some Disney when it was in the 90s or 80s. If it ever gets back there, I got to buy some. I, I love Disney. But they need better capital management, like, especially with their content. I just saw Dune Part 2, and apparently that budget was, like, $200 million. And then I found out for, like, a little Disney Plus show that they made, their budget was, like, $250 million for just a, just a show. Like, it, it wasn't even a good show, too. I don't know if you guys know what She-Hulk is, but that TV show just flopped. So they need to they need to manage their, their money better, and I think that's why... You know, Disney isn't like 190 right now. Just bad management right now, in my opinion. Their dividend buildup is 23 cents. So yeah, a little bit lower. 
of work. They're at 1309. Three, they went down 0.76% ARC did and OARC outperformed. And you know, OARC is a sleeper one too. People are sleeping on that. It's one of the more popular yield max funds just because it's been out for the longest, but you know, they have been outperforming and it's mainly it's mainly because ARC isn't making any like huge spikes. If there's huge spikes in ARC, we get capped easily. And ARC ARC does that, but they also go down too quite a bit. It's like a spec ETF, Kathy Wood. Holds a lot of Tesla too. So their strikes are at 52 and they're at 50.75. And I'm not even worried about this one, you know. I think they'll I think they'll make it. They collected good chunk of premium too, and I approve of that, you know, putting the strikes a little closer, but getting 1.25% in premium. Well done. Synthetic not expiring this this week, and their dividend build up is 38 cents. Getting down to the last two here. We got MSFO, Microsoft. Uh, they're kind of turning into an Apple too. They're kind of getting a little a little sleepy. But yeah, they went down minus 2.23%. But MSFO outperformed. So they're sitting at 406.22, and I'm very happy with this one too. They're at the strikes are at 417.5 or 2.78%. Uh, away premium is a little bit low there I don't know what's going on with that one 0.4% because they did the same with meta but meta ended up getting 0.64% for being that much out of the money which is very it, it's the exact same so meta is a little bit more volatile but it is interesting like I said with that TikTok thing last time Microsoft was going to buy TikTok and TikTok, there, so many people are addicted to TikTok. They have a uh, a hundred seventy million users in the United States, which that's about fifty percent of the population. I'm sure they make tons of money, and I think it would. I feel like Microsoft shareholders would respond well to that, like last time they did. Last time they're just spiking on rumors of it, so that's also something to watch and. You know, that'd be a big move for Microsoft getting into the social media business. Their synthetic is expiring this week and Microsoft is at 406. So take that into account. Dividend build up for Microsoft is 18 cents. Next up, we got Mernie. I've never really been a fan of this. I don't understand their business. I feel like the only product they really have is the COVID-19 vaccine. Uh, I'm sure they got other developments going on, but this is a big market cap company that is very volatile. So it's good that I own some through WiMAX, I guess. They're at 2024 going up despite paying a dividend. One of the only that went up despite paying the dividend that's impressive. They're at 103.03 with Moderna going up 8.38%. So they did not out outperform. They got capped. New strikes, very strange. I don't know what they're doing. You know, why are you putting the strike this low? You know, they have momentum already. I'm sure you could have got a ton of premium Still, like, even a percent of premium would be good. How much percent did they... Yeah, 2.28%, but still, I'd rather them push that strike to, like, 108 or 110 at least. You know, they went up 8.38% in one week, and you're putting the strike at negative 1%. It just doesn't make sense to me. But, uh, yeah, it looks like their synthetic is expiring this week, so... There, that that one's at 105. Dividend buildup is 0.65 cents. So yeah, that's it for this week. Like I said, I eventually want to start giving some daily updates here, but I really like doing the weekly videos. Takes a little little too long to set up, but overall, you know, 
it's good collecting all this information and i really like this new tab here with the the premium buildup it's definitely going to help with the estimations at the end of the month also i'm going to be making a new video on ulti and i'm going to be comparing them to y mag and y max so stay tuned for that and make sure you subscribe and drop a like i'll see you in the next week's video guys thanks for watching